guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet that is me jasmine rosette it's been a minute it's been a minute today we're going to be doing the fitness check-in the weight loss edition and we're also going to be tagging on a life update because a lot has gone on in the second quarter of the year the second set of three months yeah it's been insane and i thought why not just kind of put everything into one video it shouldn't be too long excited to be back i'm excited to share what's been going on in terms of my life and also to update you guys on my fitness journey specifically the weight loss portion of it so before we get into the video i would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you like any portion of this video and comment down below say hi i say hi back and now let's get into the fitness portion of this video or fitness check-in yeah the fitness check-in i'm gonna keep it sweet and short short and sweet yeah short and sweet i just woke up from a nap so i'm like still a little bit out of it i'm tired it's also very hot in Colorado it's very hot I in terms of my fitness check-in um, I thought I would go over the physical emotional mental aspects so physically at the very beginning of this quarter I was doing fine April everything was going really well up until May up May was doing I was doing really well I was going to the gym was feeling very strong and then I went on vacation I went to Hawaii uh, which more videos are coming so I just have to edit those I have some stuff in the backlog but yes I vlogged that entire trip so more videos are coming from the Hawaii vlogs um, Hawaii vlogs from my Hawaii trip <laughs> How many times can I say Hawaii? But anyways, I was working out even when I was on vacation. And while on vacation, I was eating what I wanted to. I wasn't limiting myself on what I could and couldn't do. I was like, I'm in Hawaii and I've never been here before. I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to work out because that's what feels the best to me. Um, you know, at least four times if I can. And then I'm just going to eat what I want. I'm not going to worry about gaining weight losing weight whatever i'm just here to have a really good time and relax which is what happened this also kind of gets into the physical emotional mental part the last two days the second to last day i got a concussion which if you which if you follow me on instagram you wouldn't have known about and i got vertigo and my vertigo is still with me in july <laughs> yeah it's um it's been a journey it's honestly sucked i didn't have severe vertigo but i've it's been mild comparatively like i haven't gotten nauseous i haven't fallen over quite yet but it still feels like the room is spinning it feels like i'm just off and something's wrong so got a concussion miles concussion and have had vertigo and fun thing about vertigo which is not that fun actually is that it can last a few days to a few months or it could be lifelong so yeah i've been on that journey and it's been really hard and really difficult uh while i'm while having vertigo at least when i came back from hawaii i couldn't even look at my computer, sitting, standing, lying down. It didn't matter what position I was in. I felt like the room was spinning. It's definitely gotten better, but it's not 100% healed yet. So I'm still dealing with it here and there, which is, um, it's honestly been really annoying and frustrating and I've been on bed rest a lot and it's been hard. Um, if you've had vertigo or experience it in any capacity you know that it's it's frustrating because it's like things that you just could do <laughs> with yourself like being able to drive being able to walk and not feel like you're gonna fall over sitting standing without feeling like 
just basic things. It felt like such an ordeal and it felt like it, an out of body experience in the worst way possible. So had that, dealt with that for three weeks, was off the gym, like couldn't work out. Um, I was advised not to work out, especially recovering from a concussion and then also dealing with vertigo. And then um, after three weeks, I started feeling a lot better. Um, it wasn't as intense. And so I was like, I'm going to see if I can go to the gym. Went to the gym, hurt my shoulder up into my neck. So couldn't really turn because I guess I just like overworked my arm, my like shoulder area, which then affected my neck on the right side of my body. So I was off the gym for a week again. And then I had gone out of town to visit one of my best friends, came back and immediately the next day that I was in town, I went to uh, Jazz in the Park, which is a free event that is in the greater Denver area. And I got into a bike accident that night, um, the Sunday that I was back in Denver and I fell really hard on my elbow and basically landed on my right side, but my elbow took the brunt of the hit. And I learned that a lot of this and a lot of this is connected. I've always known that, but you don't realize it until like you try to do stuff with your arm. <laughs> so I couldn't even type and I work in tech, as you guys know, and I'm constantly having to look at the computer. So with like the vertigo, that was one thing. And then having that bike accident, um, landing on my elbow, scraping up my right knee. So like the right side of my body was just like out of whack. It was out of commission. I wasn't doing great. And yeah, that was also hard. I was on bed rest. I had to ice my arm. I. <laughs> It wasn't broken, fortunately, um, but it's still very tender, and it's been a month, almost two months actually, since the accident. So, yeah, it's been um, challenging, I would say, physically. I haven't been to the gym consistently. Uh, April was probably my most consistent going into May, and then had a head injury, then had a shoulder injury, then had my elbow, which also affected my wrist, which also affected my shoulder, um, and then also scraped up my knee <laughs> really bad. Was on bed rest, icing my elbow. I couldn't turn the door knob. I couldn't even open my hand the first few days. When you're like trying to turn your the wheel in your car, I couldn't do that with both arms. I could only do that with my left arm. Uh, and I'm my right hand is not, I'm right-handed, so my right side is dominant. Um, so it was really challenging and mentally very frustrating, emotionally very frustrating and exhausting. And it's been annoying because it's just things that I'm used to doing, I just couldn't do. And I had no control of it. I had to just, I had to rest. I couldn't force it. I couldn't try to do things faster. My body was healing. It's still healing. So it's gotten better. Um, I'm like completely mobile now, but I don't have 100% strength in my right arm uh, yet because my elbow, there's still parts of it that are still weak. And then I've also had some health scares. I am currently undergoing a lot of tests and waiting on results. So right now I'm in a waiting game. Um, I've had to redo some tests. I've had to do more tests. I've done a lot of tests um, for my body because I've had some health scares. I've had some symptoms. I felt like something was wrong and something is wrong, but we don't know what it is. And so um, I have confirmation on certain things, um, but I don't have confirmation on everything. So yeah, I'm still, uh, there's still a lot of questions that are left to be answered and I'm just trying my best. So it's honestly been a journey this past quarter, this past couple months, and going into this new quarter, <laughs> the third quarter, I never thought um, this year would go like this, but yeah, it's been very hard physically, and 
um, mentally as well. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a lot better mentally than I thought I would, would be, but it's still like, I've just been very frustrated and angry because I want to be able to do the things that I'm able to do, but I can't. So there's that, but I am going to start going back to the gym this week. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so that's been, that's been really exciting. That's been really great. Uh, to finally like feel healed up to to where I can go to the gym but I have like a lot of internal health stuff that I won't go into um, that I just don't know the answers to and I'm hoping I will find out answers soon <laughs> so it's been hard I throughout this process too I've maintained weight so I don't have any progress photos for you um, what I weighed at the end of my first check-in is what I weigh now. So I haven't really changed, which is great. Um, maintaining is honestly fine. I've definitely gone up and down, but I've overall maintained and look the same. Clothes are still fitting the same as in very loosely. And yeah, so it's with my physical and health and internal health, it's been a lot mentally. And emotionally, it's been difficult, but it hasn't been the worst. My mental health hasn't like deteriorated, and I think it's because of a lot of the work that I was doing in therapy. Which, speaking of, that's going to be the new thing. My therapist uh, moved, so I have to find a new therapist, and yeah, so I'm going to start therapy um, soon, which leads me to the life update portion, which is very exciting. So it's not all bad. It's you know, it's definitely like balanced out. <laughs> yeah, so let's get into the life update. So I'm moving, which you can probably see like there's no like art on the walls, um, taking it down. Not that this place was super decorated because we knew that we would live here for at least a year. And then I was like, after a year, I would like to live by myself. So nothing's wrong with Melanie and I we're in a really great place <laughs> um, she has amazing opportunities coming her way I have amazing opportunities that have come my way and I've always just wanted to be able to live by myself which um, I'm about to be in it living by myself and I I thought I would feel more confident going into living by myself but I'm actually like I'm excited and I'm confident, but I'm also scared because I've never lived by myself before. I've always lived with someone and Melanie's like one of the longest people that I've lived with. And so it really is like an end of an era. Um, she had me listen to a Taylor Swift song called Long Live and the lyrics just like really hit home for what we're going through. So it's definitely bittersweet. I'm sad that like, I'm just not gonna live with her cause she's the best. Um, and I'm really proud of her and I'm thankful for her and I love her a lot and don't worry I've told her all this <laughs> um, so she knows but it is gonna be just challenging not having her there and it's also just gonna be weird like knowing that I'm gonna come home or like I'm gonna just constantly be by myself in my living space and I've heard from so many people that once you live alone, like, you're never going to want to get a roommate again, which, understandable, that's great. Like, I'm sure I'll get there, but right now it's kind of scary because I haven't done it, and it's new, and it's a big change, and it's not something that I'm used to because I've gone from living with family to living with friends in dorms and then outside of college, living with friends again and, and acquaintances, and so now I'm just going to me. And I'm like, am I going to be safe? Can I do this by myself? And it's like, yes, I can. I am capable, but it's still a little scary. And I am I have some trepidation about it. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a big change. I'm excited, but I am scared. So I never thought I would be scared at this big age of 28, uh, but I am. I'm a 28-year-old woman. There's things that I got to do, and I'm going to do them. So... I'm going to live by myself and I'm really excited. I have a place lined up, so I'm really excited to move. Yeah, I'm like 
packing and all of that stuff so it's great don't worry moving vlogs are definitely coming i've been vlogging a little bit um here and there because i'm hoping i'm not gonna have to move for another year or two i really don't want to move every year but the way this market is set up it's trash cost of living in the greater denver area is so expensive it is so expensive to the point where i'm like i wish i could just keep having a roommate but i've already you know found a place so i can't like back out now second life update i got a new job <laughs> so in the midst of like all my health stuff getting injured literally i was like on the call um, I was doing like interviews while I couldn't really type with my right arm and I couldn't type with my right arm for a long time for a long time but essentially I am gonna be a software engineer I'm gonna be building apps for people to help kind of automate their workflows and make their life easier and more efficient with their work their everyday work so from small tasks to big tasks you name it and I'm really really excited how I got this opportunity to be a software engineer was insane it was truly like incredible and I just want to say like I have such an amazing an amazing an amazing community such amazing friends so supportive who want to see me win and I also want to see them win in turn um, there are so many of my friends who are going through the same things that I'm going through in starting a new job and getting into roles that are just really great for their career and I'm just really excited for them and the fact that we can go through it together and not be alone in that has been amazing like it's been so great to just encourage each other and share the process it's been great um, also, I never thought I would be an engineer. Like, that just wasn't on my radar. Not that I couldn't do it, but I just didn't think that was something that I would be. That, that you know, that that would be a title that I would have behind my name. So, I'm really excited to be building apps for people. And, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of scripting, some coding, um... Like, obviously, like, I, not obviously, but I've gone to school for web design and development, so I, like, know how to create websites and stuff like that, but, you know, it's, like, a little bit of front end, a little bit of back end, but, yeah, I'm basically a software engineer building apps for people and customizing them for a wide variety of clients, so it's not in just one industry, it's across industries. So it's a really amazing opportunity. Um, my friend who I used to work with, who I'm working with again, had recommended this job and saying that her company was hiring and she was like, you should apply for it if you want it. I applied, went through a month of interviews, presentations, all that stuff, and ended up getting the job. And yeah, it was insane and it was great to just have community and people around me just supporting from supporting me praying for me um and walking beside me it's been amazing it's been the best and truly like i'm just really thankful for the people that i surround myself with because who you surround yourself with speaks volumes and it just became even clearer to me that the people that i surround myself with are just really encouraging they want the best for me and they're willing to walk beside me and help me in any way they can and i also do that for them in turn um and having people like pray with me just like check in to see how i'm doing let like lend me a helping hand um and also just being aware of all like my health stuff too like it's been crazy and god has just been amazing and provided so much um, and has been so faithful and that's another thing is that at the end of last year I prayed through what 2022 would look like and a lot of the things that I prayed for to happen because I'm very goal-oriented I'm very detail-oriented and task-oriented like 
but very much goal oriented for sure. And I had a lot of goals for this year of things that I wanted to accomplish across my personal work life, everything. And the things that I prayed for have come true. And they've come true in ways that I've not necessarily thought that they could come through, come true in, but they've come true in the ways that I've needed to them at the moments that I've needed them. So the fact that I'm able to live by myself, that I have a new job, you know, that I'm able to kind of just like figure out like health stuff, like it's been insane and I'm really excited for the journey. There's definitely been some hiccups on the road. I mean, I wasn't expecting to get vertigo or concussion or get into a bike accident or have health scares, but it's a part of the journey and I know it's a season and I'm going to do what I need to do to continue moving forward. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop it there. I think that's it. But look forward to more Hawaii vlogs. I'm going to be editing those and uploading them. I Each time I've uploaded, it's been when I've like finally felt okay to even type or look at a computer screen that long. But also like I've just been bedridden a lot <laughs> and I've had to rest a lot. And there's just like capability stuff that I just couldn't do with my hands. And then also like the vertigo stuff, the head injury. Oh, it's been a whirlwind. But anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so, so, so much. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you like any portion of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing. And comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And I will see y'all in my Hawaii vlogs and in my moving vlogs. I'm sure the moving vlogs won't last like the entire year, but you'll be seeing them. You'll be seeing them. <laughs> All right, bye.